Hello everyone, welcome back to another Gary's Mod video. Like last time, we were with the 212 and 442nd, aka Tomb Legion. You can see here, uh, this is an FD map. If we fly all the way back here, we have Commander Doom himself and Commander Cody up in the primary base looking out as a, C as a CIS ship. Or aka furry ship as a uh, exerted hyperspace and made its way into the sector. Out here we have a few of the 442nd. We have one sergeant out here. We have a bunch of 212 out here, and they're gonna try to hold them hold off the verges as best as possible. You can see here we have a couple of sergeants inside as well, and then all the way going far back. We have 442nd and then a little bit of T12. But mostly T12 is outside because they are our main attack battalion. So uh, I did spawn in a TV for music. But uh, I just need to grab the NPC. I could do alien swarms one of these days, but uh, alien swarms are unpredictable. And I don't like their unpredictability. So we're just going to go with this for now before it actually starts battle. Make sure I'm spawning in the right thing. Yes, I am. And uh, now let's kick off the music and begin the battle. took heavy casualties right off the bat and then there's dead bodies leading all the way up 
Yeah. Now, uh, we're gonna add in some shadows. Some male ones. So I want diversity. And these are just like five in normal videos. Beginning the door.
get a slight Vegeta Scott reinforcements. Make it look like they just got reinforcements on the lat. I'm pretty sure 90% of these guys in the lat are just gonna wind up fucking dead. To be honest.
next wave, I don't want to go before I'm going to put a second hold it off. Find out. That does it for the end of the waves. We can see the 442nd and the 2 tough were able to hold them off. Uh, I only do a certain number of waves, like for each character. Like for this one, the beginning forces didn't get that many waves of enemies to try and push up to the gate, and then I started adding different varieties in. I even threw in a little bit of uh, security droids models. These droids are extremely interesting, but uh, as you can see, like right off of the bat, they wiped out the first wave, and then as soon as I put more down, the 212 and the 442nd, and the front of the facility faltered, and then once the gate came down, 
uh, everything went to hell. If you guys didn't notice, uh, I accidentally put the medical ones onto the field in the front <laughs> lines. But, uh, oh well, that's something I learned. But, uh, as you can see, the two, the 422nd and the 212 did hold off. Even though there's not that many left. Like, Commander Cody and Commander Doom are still alive. Which is all that really matters and they just watch the battle from the safety of the facility. So you can see there's no one really guarding them, but I might do a battle within the facility. But the facility is really big, so it's going to take a while to actually figure out where I'm going to place everyone. But uh, as you can see, the furries did not make it past the 212 or the 442nd. I have a feeling one of these days, if I didn't give them reinforcements, they probably would have broken through. Like, if I don't do the reinforcement thing that I do every video for the clone troopers, I'm pretty sure that uh, it would have went differently and they would have made it to the facility. But uh, I, I, don't, I always do a favor of reinforcements. As you guys saw, like, while I was set while I, in the middle, I put a bunch into the lat and then I spawned in a bunch more. Which was basically the reinforcements, but everyone who was technically at the lat is dead. Everybody who was at the lat was dead. But, uh, maybe later on we'll do a larger and more further battle. But, uh, I think, uh, they have lost. They have completely and utterly lost. As you can see, they all lost. Fury is lost, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the 212 and the 442nd did take heavy casualties. I'm hoping one of these days it will go the opposite way around and the first will actually wipe them out, but uh, it, it's sort of randomized with the NPCs. I'm pretty sure if I was helping out one of those sides, I'm pretty sure it would go a different way, but uh, I don't feel like helping out uh, any of the sides. Also, uh, a little little thing I found uh, for uh, Superior. Get this pack and fix up. Where is it? Fix up it. This one. Fix up this vehicle for your subs. Because this would be an interesting vehicle for the Republic pilots that have to get certified in. Because usually in the Clone Wars series, you see Republic pilots piloting these. I think it's because like they have the extensive training of learning how to pilot all this stuff. But uh, the cannon does fire. But uh, if you get into its uh, thing, it just basically you can't see anything unless you enable your third person. And then once you enable it, you can actually walk around in it. But uh, if it was fixed and it actually functioned properly, I'm pretty sure it would make a great vehicle for uh, any battalion. Like, even if it was for the 104th. It would be a good asset, but uh, this pack is kind of broken with it, but I'm pretty sure it can be fixed. As you guys can see, I'm still the 187th RC Trooper. Yeah. So, uh, rocking purple pride galaxy wide, but uh, you guys can see, this was a complete error catastrophe. But, uh, looks like, uh, this giant ass ship failed to do its mission. And, uh, we'll see what, sh you'll see what ship they send next in the next video. But, uh, Jesus Christ, this is a big map.
Like, y you think I'm kidding that this is such a big map. If I go into first person and clip through, there's a crystal thing and then go completely under the map. This is the whole map. I have crystal caves there. I have a whole facility there. It's a huge ass map. And then we have hangers here that could probably be interesting. And then we ha you'd have to cram a bunch of uh, battalions probably into these. Probably just put uh, pilots in that and then have them have their landing fields probably. Like one field for lads. It's a big ass map to be honest. But uh, it looks like the 212 and the 442nd one. You guys can see some of them have the medical training. Like this one has the medical arm and this one does not. But uh, I would actually like to see this in Superiors, the 442nd. But uh, to do that, you'd have to have Commander Green in all of his glory and uh, well basically Commander Doom, the Doom Legion. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a stretch because it's a lot of work to even program anything. I know this for a fact how how hard it is to get anything actually physically done in terms of an avatar for a game, and in terms of getting it ready for a game. But I have no aspect on coding. I wouldn't even know how to code it into the game. So uh. Yeah, this is going to be it for this video. There's probably going to be a part 2 with the combat inside of the base. It looks like the 442nd and the 212 one against the first. Kai ya! Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like and comment down below. And I hope to see all of you in the next video. Bye bye!